and so I created a package that allows you to get college baseball to your desk. And the easiest way to do it is running DevTools install underscore GitHub and then my name, Robert Dash Fry slash baseball or not baseball bar, um, college baseball. And I'll just say force equals true so I can show you what that would look like. So we're just, I'm re downloading the data or installing the package for you. So it should run, shouldn't take too long if at all. There you go. And then. What we can do with this is then call our library college baseball. And what we can do is get stats from there. So, but first, the team IDs actually changed. So, all you have to do is look up a school ID. So, we'll say like Tennessee. And then my argument compared to baseball R is it asks for a year because it changes every year. So you see the team ID, but then I have a column called the previous team ID, just in case if they ever go back to that, the code can arrange for that. So gets all the same information. So the season ID is the same, division, conference, conference ID, same team name. And then you have the team ID, and then you have the previous team ID again, and that's in the old code that gets the previous team ID because it has changed quite a bit. So let me see if I can pull up this NCAA stats page and bring it on to here. So when you go to Tennessee's page, no baseball, go 2024, and now the ID essentially becomes this, instead of what it was in the past, which was, you know, 694. That doesn't mean it's going away because it does apply. in other situations and I'm trying to think of one where it does apply but so the ID has just became a little bit different now um, so oh, let's go to team history so see when I click on this the old URL I guess the old team ID appears. But in the data set, it's still available either way. So that way, if you know that those new IDs don't work, you can still use this team ID. So when we go back into R, we can do, I'll just say 10E for short, NCAA stats, and the team ID now that we know Tennessee's is 754226, we'll add that in there. Year 2024, we'll leave our type to equal batting. Now we run that. Takes a little bit longer, but still pulls the data. And now we have height, we have bat throw for not every team. Um, I'm sure the bigger schools will have a bat throw, but now we have a team ID, a conference ID, a player ID, and again, it sucks because it changes year by year, so like Christian Moore in 2023, his player ID will look different than compared to 2024, and I can show you that, so Let's say 10E, D ply R, filter. Um, 
player name equals Christian Moore. Then we'll just say dplyr pull player ID. Make sure that's the right column. Player ID. Yep. So let me add in dplyr in the libraries. And it'll give you messages, so on and so forth. But it's not an error. So then I run this, and you can see his player ID in 2024 is 8281448 for Christian Moore. But when you run Tennessee's data for 2023, so you have your team ID is 548. 305. So see, it changes every year now, and we have to adjust for that. So 548305, and the previous year is 2023. Run it. Give it a second or two to run. Now we pull the same data, but then when we look at Christian Moore, so his 2024 team ID was again 8281448. But now his ID is 7831204. So that's something you have to be wary of. And I'm thinking of ways, I have code somewhere. It's possible that I can probably either. I might either create my own player ID system or really dig through the uh, NCA stats archives and find player IDs that actually match. But that this is how you would get stats. Again, download the college baseball package by running this code. With taking out the comment, so dev tools install underscore github my name college baseball and it gets you like you know some neat information so that's kind of like the basic stats you can get but you can get like available savant games for college baseball so I'll just call this HH call whatever you want and so what this pulls from is from 2017 until this past season, some games will have StatCast data available. And so you can pull that StatCast data. But however, some games may not. I want to double check because some, like, I'm pretty sure the Salt River Fields at Talking Stick don't. Brazzle Field at GCU Ballpark will not. Sloan Park, I don't believe, has it either. So I will make sure to double check that and re upload for you guys. But this allows you to create or get like StatCast data. So then you can say, like, oh, uh, what's a. Uh, What's a game from 2024 that you might have some interest? I'm trying to think of the Chase Burns game that had data. It might have been Wake Forest, Florida State, or it might have been it might have been Wake Wake Forest, North Carolina, actually. So I get that game PK, and I can say like Wake, you know, UNC, we'll call it. We'll use the college baseball package, and we'll say StatCast B PVB College, and then we'll run this six-digit code. It gets the game PK. Give it a second or two to run. And then you have StatCast data for that game. So you get Chase Sprague, you get Chase Burns' data from Wake Forest, 
And again, this is only for a limited amount of games. It's not for every single team. Uh, some places will have stack ass data. So, like, one advantage that we have is, like, okay, you have the Las Vegas ballpark. So, like, all the AAA fields that teams may play at, there's likely to be stat cast data now because every AAA field has stat cast. So, like, one example is Las Vegas ballpark, um, Smith's ballpark, which is also the home ballpark of Utah. So, really, we have mostly Utah data because that's their home field. But then if you go to other places like Durham Bulls Athletic Park, AAA for Durham, they'll have stack ass data. Um, your typical um, Globe Life field, stack ass data. Trius field, again, AAA field, stack ass data. Um, Bay Care Ballpark does have stack ass data, though it's not a AAA field. It's, I want to say it's either a high A or a rookie league field, but it does have stack ass data when you play there. And the American Athletic Conference conference tournament was there, so we got stack cast data for those. Um, what are some other places like PNC, West Virginia, and Pittsburgh? They played there, so there there's data there. Um, Dodger Stadium, though, I think they took it down. Let's check. So we'll check one of these games. Because realistically, even though it may be played at a an MLB stadium, oh, it looks like the data is still there. Cool. So it gives you all the sack essay, but. It gives you like different columns to what you may be used to with StatCast data. Because again, like if you go through the columns on Baseball Savant, um, exit, you know, exit velocity is listed as like launch speed, whereas this has two columns, so it's rounded, hit speed, and then just hit speed with a decimal. And then we have a player name, we have hit distance, XBA. Um, hit angle, barrel, hit coordinate X, hit coordinate X and feet, and then hit coordinate Y, and then hit coordinate Y and feet. And then here's an interesting one, too, with the data that's in there. If it's played at an MLB ballpark, it'll tell you how many ballparks would have had that as a home run. Now, you see the column bat speed. There's some bat speed. There's some bat speed, but not a whole lot. A lot of missing data with bat speed. Just be wary of it. Don't expect a lot of data with bat speed. But there is bat speed for college-level games at a very limited level. And then it tells you if there's a runner on first, runner on second, runner on third, which I think is useful. Um, very... Uh, various other things, so game total pitches, you know, what player, how many total pitches he has um, from each pitch type, as well as, you know, this pitch number, ball and play out. And then <laughs> there's this neat little column called is sword. And so we can calculate that, you know, using false or true with is sword. So that, that's something really interesting to see. Something that is in here that isn't in your Baseball Savant StatCast data set is your induced vertical break. So the induced break Z. So the StatCast data set from MLB and AAA, so the minor leagues as well, it has this, but it doesn't have it for that particular um, viewing chip. And then you have your just your break X, break Z, and then your movement as well. But then it's saying like with gravity and then with gravity nice, which is essentially just rounding it. Then it shows you like the direction. It shows you 
PFX with gravity, and then PFX with no absolute value, so it's not rounded, so it's not saying like, oh, this player got 16 inches of movement, this player got negative, because it's based upon, again, catcher's view. So it's going in the negative direction. Or no. Yeah, catcher's view. It's going in the negative direction. And it even shows you, like, the type of direction that it's going in as well. Um, so that's that's neat. Gets your acceleration. So your X0, Y0, Z0, X, A, Y, A, Z. You know, VX0, VY0, VZ0. Your PX and your PZ. It's got your spin rate. It's got the zone that it's in, plate time. You know, your your normal things, it's just might be slightly different in terms of column names. Extension, the bottom of the strike zone, the top of the strike zone, you know, start speed, end speed, balls and strikes, um, is strike swinging, pitch call, result code, description, um, pitch name, pitch type, call name, call, and then if you want to do like a previous thing though I think all the the data matches up so I don't think it it really matters but it's got strikes balls pre strikes pre balls again feel free to play with it however you want then you have events you know the, the short description result team fielding ID batting ID team fielding team batting pitcher name what hand they throw with the batter name what hand they're standing with, batter, out, um, captivating index, which I'm not exactly sure what that column means, at bat number, inning. So it allows you to get all that play ID as well. So this would be useful at the major league level in terms of it'd be useful to get the like video of it right because MLB has that video side of it so this is kind of neat if you think about it 